boys, oh yeah, we're back with Bloodborne on Zero Cat's game review. You may be thinking, I've seen all I ever need to see of Bloodborne. Well, that's not necessarily true, because our player has gotten stronger. And in this episode, we're doing a special cutaway for Nightmare Creatures on N64. The N64 game, Nightmare Creatures, I feel is the same exact guy doing the same exact thing in the same exact city, just like in the 90s. So what was that now? Almost 30 years ago. Uh, let's just call it 25. 25 years ago. Yeah, probably 20 years ago. I hope I'm not feeling that old. I got the gray hair going. Now you're going to be seeing here on the left hand side I got this gate open. I'm not gonna go that way. We're gonna come back through and show you how to open that gate. All right, and then there's another gate as well. So we have made progress. There is reason to watch, I promise. Now, just take this moment, and while I fight this fella, I just wanna get my bearings too, because, uh... Okay, whoa, hey -o. I'm gonna learn the controls here. Uh, but take this moment to enjoy, on the side of the screen, Nightmare Creatures as well. We're going to catch up to where we have uh, been in the past. Now I'm seeing, okay. We've got quick attack and a long attack. That's not something that they have in Nightmare Creatures. But we do have the long sword. Quite a bit of baddies going here, don't we? Quite a bit of baddies. I don't know why the other guys are still standing there. They don't typically do that. <laughs> Using up our stamina. You gotta keep an eye on that stamina. our blood vial situation. You can see I'm also searching for somebody who's beckoning help. Beckoning assistance. I would happily assist somebody else who may be playing. But I don't know that that is the case. Oh, I just saw the silencing bell. Silencing blank, we'll use that. Okay. Yes. Okay, cool. Now we're gonna heal, and we're gonna heal. Plenty of health to go around. Sneaky, sneaky, up on this fellow. Blood vial. Now for those who haven't ever seen the game before, this is one where the level never changes. You're in an open city. This, if you die, is where you start as well with the same bad guys every time. Now you can change that by getting new spawn points. Oh shoot, I'm pushing buttons. It's been a minute so I'm a little foggy on the buttons. And you can unlock new uh, spawn points but the level always remains the same, and it's so vast that you don't have to worry 
uh, about getting bored with it too quickly, although you will die getting to know it. Now, he's not going to have a clear shot on me here. We'll just let him fire away and lure our friends. So it's us and the gunman. Missed that clearly. All right. That is quite the interesting statue there, isn't it? Oh, that is a beast that is on fire. Now the similarities between Bloodborne and Nightmare Creatures are in the dog here, you see I'm fighting, uh, the zombie-esque villagers, which I'm fighting here. Of course not at all in the same volume, but you do have that feel, don't you? Now we'll move on. We do have a troll on the other side of the door waiting for us to arrive. Now the large trolls also, I feel, are represented in Nightmare Creatures. Thank heavens for the pebble. What do we have here? It's all lit up. Oh. Do I have anything in my inventory? That's the real question. Oh, I do have Molotov cocktails. I will save those for the most part, but in case we get into a pinch, it'll be nice to have that as well. Here to these folks waiting yonder. He got overexcited and ran past us. Here where the gunman can't hit me. I think that clears the way. Vicious beast! Vicious beast! Now we're going to use these Molotov cocktails. Here we go.
and they're dead. All right, we collect our blood vial, heal ourselves. And he had nothing for us anyway. Soaked in blood. You want to fight, do you? Looks like he had some uh, blood echoes. So now, being a, a wise person, I would typically take that 3,200 blood echo and I would go and spend it on my character. That's the most important thing because this level, it never changes, but your character can change, so you can go through it a lot quicker. Huh, these guys, they don't see me just yet, but I'm gonna fight Big Troll and these little farts in there. Sure, you saw what I did there. Oh, I fell over. Old man in the chair. Now, if you didn't see him, you came over here. It says. When the hunt began, the healing church left us blocking the great bridge to Cathedral Ward as old Yarnum burned to the ground that moonlit night. And he'll blast you from over there. He's got a gun. Uh, but he's dead now. We have notes to view. And there's jumpers out here. This is if you're running from werewolves. You run in here, you're going to get jumped by these guys. Come right back out to the werewolves, which were right over there. Okay, so I just went this way. Now I'm not going to go that way yet. There's two great trolls. Okay, and we got the trolls. Let's hit the trolls. Too cocky for the trolls. Now, what I'll show you coming down this side, down to the left. Here's our troll friends. So this is exactly where we were. Got 
those blood echoes. So no worries, no harm, no foul, okay? What we would have done, we would come right up to this side, defeat the fellow up here, and up the stairs is the gate. Which you open and then have passage through at any given time. We'll take this moment, we're gonna go to the hunter's dream. You have to fix your weapon and you have to upgrade your character. If your weapon is depleted, you're going to be useless. So you have to do that and we'll do it now. weapon first and foremost. The workshop. We will fortify the weapon if we can. We cannot. We can fortify it. No, we cannot. Repair the weapon. Let's see if we can repair it. Nope. Okay, so we're good. We don't have any insight. We'll just have these blood echoes and we'll repurpose them into our character's attributes. Channel Blood Echoes. Now I'm going to be working from the lowest up. So I can only do one. That's what it will be. But we can go buy more Molotov cocktails because we use them all the time. Um, This way, we're in that same building with the sneaky guy and his grandpa. That's really it for this room. Collecting. 
Now I just want to show you. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, my. I don't like to fight him in that space. It's just too claustrophobic. So if he wants to fight me, he can fight me up here. But he won't. just yet. on a swivel. Shall we? Hidden pathways ahead, but have audience with old Labyrinth. Well, turn the switch, eh? It's not operable, okay? So, we have to go to the old Labyrinth first. Taking them out, don't want them to be released and turn on us. I don't know that they can be, not experienced that yet. There you go. man with a rifle here. Alright, 
So, we're off. So the old labyrinth, I've not, um, uh, I don't know it by name. I may have come across it. Something for us. Quicksilver bullets. So this is what I would consider the sewer. I don't know that it is a labyrinth. So there's a merc. Oh, hey there. pit below. Now, this is where I want to be right now, ultimately. I'll just go down a level, because I found the ladder I was looking for. This is the sewer here, filled with all sorts of these, see these uh, crawling, long-armed jerks? <laughs> I've, fought, I've fought them. They're, they're not difficult, uh, but we're going to save that. I've also fallen off this ladder and died. So we're gonna pick up these items, the pebbles, and we'll fight a troll. but I did it. We're gonna go take this here and travel just up the ladder. Just up the ladder. There we go. So this ladder here leads us to a gate. Flip the switch on the gate and look where we are now. This is the mf -er that killed us and took our blood echo. That's it. Come on, fella. Come on. He didn't want to fight. I guess uh, I ruined his will to fight. Somebody here has our blood echoes. There you are. Dog. Not too shabby. You do get a, a sense of what you're able to accomplish then. You see, uh, I was never able to get 3,000 blood echoes to start. But now, I, I found myself in a comfort area area where I know how to fight these bad guys and know that I'm going to win here and uh, I know that I can get back here in case I die to retrieve, retrieve my blood echoes. It's about not rushing for sure.
item, eh? Oh, yes. So this guy will jump out at us. Hey, Slick. This guy will jump out at us. This guy will jump out at us. This guy's in near pitch black. This fellow in the chair. The dead troll. Oh, cool. So we took out that entire side. We took out all the dogs. Well, we could either go and take out the people in the sewer, or we could go back to the troll and go up uh, the other side. We'll see what that's about. I'm sort of partial to jumping down here and figuring that out. Uh, I think that is labyrinth-esque, to say the least. Here we go. Descend the ladder. Send the ladder here. Super creepy, they're not very deadly. Just walk around, see if any others like to join the fun. So the thing is, if I were to jump down before, it does drop out in here. Not very safely, mind you. I had to bounce off of something, I'm sure. But that was up that way. Now, the interesting thing is, up this way... Oh, here's more. This way there's going to be a giant pig in that tunnel ahead. I've not fought it. I've never won against that giant pig. I don't know that you can win against a giant pig. Big. 
Huh. Ascend the ladder. I've not fought the pug, the pug and one. The pig and winged. Where are we? Device is not currently operating. Uh oh, wait a second. So this has got to be the labyrinth. I just opened up the whole thing here. Oh. Oh, this is the labyrinth. Gotcha. Cool. Wait, but it's not operating. So I can take the elevator if it's available. But it's not yet available. I don't have the choice. I have to do something to activate it permanently. And if I was a gambling man, I'd say it had to do with the pig. Oh, this is ominous. Ominous. That was something. My God. So either way, here, high or low, there's things rolling at me, full, full tilt. Then there's this guy, who looks like just a, a larger troll. No, you know what it was, it's perspective. He's a normal troll. He's a normal Trollski. He's a normal Trollski. Yeah, come on, Trollski. Just a normal Cholski, although uh, tight quarters. Now you, with the block of wood, what are you up to? This is interesting. This is going to be on the other side of the pig, isn't it? Do I go on or do I check it out? Am I a high or low guy? I think I'm a high guy. Let's keep going high. I'm not ready to fight both of them. Do I have what it takes to fight these guys? Or just skip them. Haha! -ha. But what's up here that's gonna drive me back? That's the question.
Father Gassion. So Father Gassion, he uh, was probably a hunter who was a little too paranoid. Maybe it's uh, more of a mental thing where pe you just think everything is a demon or a monster, but you've lost your mind. One of those Twilight Zone kind of deals. Uh, needless to say, I wasn't prepared for that. I had never seen that in my life. the sinister bell. It's only a matter of time before there's an enemy here. That is another player. I feel there should be enemies here in this sewer, but there aren't. I do feel you can chop through them sideways really easily. Alright, so here's our ladder. Here's our pig friend. He's piggying at me. We did learn a few new things about Father Gavanush or whatever, and where he is. I know uh, two bosses now, where they lie, have not had the guts to take them on. Um, so we've opened two gates, we have two bosses to take on, and we've seen nightmare creatures, which is interesting in and of itself, so we'll progress in that way as well. I do thank you guys for watching. I'm looking forward to the next game in our rotation. Uh, sorry, but my memory has left me there. Uh, we have to depart for now, but as always, my best to you guys at home.